Hello everybody, welcome back to Combat 2 by Compass Games, designed by Ross Mortel. Uh, we are here again on the... Uh, blah, 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 blah. 22nd of March 1945, uh, we are attacking a hamlet in the dark with the rain and the mud. Um... So far, we've really only run into a little bit of resistance. A lot of these guys were either dummies or a medic. We did take out one soldier here trying to throw a grenade. But we bounced into a um, NCO here, which is going to slow things up. And these guys are probably going to move, so that's going to stunt our attack here. And... Um, you know what, let me get the scenarios up. I should have put my VPs up so I know exactly uh, what I'm dealing with. Uh, it's just me messing with the microphone, trying to figure out where I like it the best, or it's not blocking my view. And you guys can hear me when I'm looking at either screen. That looks a little better. Um, so we are attacking... the hamlet and VPs in the attack your typical killed and prisoners um, we can't let any of their guys move off the edge of the board which I don't think is going to be a problem because they're not really moving we can't we got to avoid casualties um, Let's see, on the Hamlet. Yeah, with this one we're mostly going to get credit for guys killed, which is already starting to become an issue because not a lot of them showing up. Um, and avoiding, that all depends on cards and hits right here because we've got two against one, but he's got an SMG with a decent... Um, uh, weapon skill plus he's tough I just picked the tough up today I didn't notice that yesterday each building hex occupied by a friendly character at the end of the scenario will give us two extra VPs so we're going to have to start making that move unfortunately we have the tank unfortunately if he starts the turn within visual range of somebody they get the roll to see if they do a Panzerfaust attack so if we get close to enough of them, um, it could be problematic. We could lose our tank, which would definitely hurt our chances of winning. And we've only got 14 turns to operate, so we need to start moving and move good. Um, so, that being said... One, two, three, four... I'm just thinking my thinking my um, tactics here. I think I'm going to try to throw some grenades with some guys. And I really don't mind doing it um, with without being able to be seen. Because I don't want to risk guys coming in here and getting um, killed with a throw grenade command in the trees or something because it's really not that good this guy's in a real good position here of all the guys that should have been a dummy that would have been a lot better off if that was a dummy and that be the uh, NCO but that's what I like about this game you don't have a choice in what's going to happen uh, yeah, three hexes. He could actually throw grenades from there, but his chance, both of them could. Their chances of hitting probably aren't that great. But we could cause him to, cause him to, to, what it takes is getting a morale check. I think we're going to do that. These guys are going to fire. They're going to throw grenades, and these guys are going to continue to advance. And at this point, with things going the way they're going, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, I 
I really think it would be best to push through down here. But, man, these guys, we're going to have to send these guys up here. All right. We got to send them up here because this is the only cover that we can use to expose this guy. And then from there, we can go up here to get cover. Otherwise, we're going to be seeing guys in the eyes. Uh, this this line of sight is a tough one. These guys are both going to get evaded. Um, let's do that. Now I've got to decide: Do I send the tank up to help with this NCO, or do I keep him down here? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think uh, with these guys, I'm going to take the chance and do aimed fires. And, um, come on, Greg, seriously. All right, uh, aimed fires. And we'll just take him on that away. And both of these guys are going to throw grenades. I don't usually do grenades, but, um, oh, you know what the prerequisite may be. Known enemy character. A known enemy character within four hexes does not have to be an LOS. So, yes, I can throw that. We're going to do that. Uh, no long range throw. That way they don't have to expose themselves to fire. These guys are aimed fire. <laughs> That's still not the greatest. Um, uh, but we're going to have to do what we got to do. You hope that we get the dice rolls. Um, and hope that he doesn't get the dice rolls. Alright. Um, let's see here. Down here. These two I want on aim fire. Because these guys are probably going to advance on them. All right. Oh boy, Greg. All right, there we go. These guys can advance. I think I'd actually like to try to put somebody here and somebody up along here. This is going to be another tough nut to crack. We're going to have to take him from the trees. All right. All these guys are going to be evade. And actually, I'm going to bring along the uh, medic with them. I think I get the feeling we're going to need him. I don't want to take casualties. We are really late in the campaign. And I don't want to lose squad members. I mean, we got to do what we got to do, too. All right. Um, this is tough. You know what? Maybe I will road crawl up. Try and use these guys as a screen to get up here and spot this guy. And these guys will just sit here and wait for these guys to become exposed. Then maybe we can see him and take him out with the tank and wrap around. We're just going to keep them same motors. I keep my MG Rapids on both guns. Keep a uh, road crawl on him, spot on the loader, and spot on the commander. I will keep two hatches open at the time. That's my orders. We need to draw a card. Um, and we're at the mercy of the deck. And we got to get rid of all the old cards. And I don't like being at the mercy of the deck. And that's not the greatest of initiative either. But at least nothing happens. So that's, that's going to be our initiative. Germans. Uh, we will start up here. And... This guy, we get the roll. That's a one. He's going to have an aimed fire. 
three, he's going to have an aim fire. Five, he passes, has an aim fire. This guy's also in a, in a, a trench. Seven, he fails, he's going to get a card. It's going to be a sneak five. Um, there's rules about wire. About them moving into wire. I don't think they'll do it. But I want to see what the uh, hierarchy is for that. characters when given movement orders other than sneak will change the given order to sneak from the same directions okay so he can sneak into the wire all right so we'll go ahead and give him the order there and that's going to be lavender's initiative uh, this guy's in cover he gets a card Aimed fire or a grenade. He can't see anybody, so he's just going to be on the ready. That's going to be blue or teal. These guys are in building. They do get the roll. Buildings and trenches. Seven. He's going to get an order. Aimed fire. That's going to be gold or yellow. This guy. Nine. Wow. Same on him. Suppressive fire, so at least he'll stay in his hex. Uh, maroon nine. Wow, ain't fire though, so he stays put. And that's going to be maroon or red. So we've got the initiative on everybody except for the tank. I forgot to draw the tank. Tank's going to be four. All right, um, the reinforcements, let's get them done. They all draw cards. He's in cover. Evade five. He's actually going to be head straight south to try and flank us. Discard, next guy down. Suppress fire, he's dropping to his knee already. Um, he is in the, you know, I looked up the wrong one on him. Uh, both of these guys are in the open. Uh, running gun 6-1 then. Alright, and this guy's going to be suppressed fire. This guy's in cover. Aim fire. They're, they're cautiously approaching, and I'm all right with that. It is dark and rainy, so I don't blame them. Aim fire on him also. All right, uh, back over to the main force. We are medic. Um, he's not liking where he's at. He'll have to get a move order. That's going to be a discard. Hide. Yeah, he could do a hide too. Put him on hide. Um, then we'll go to this guy in the building. He rolls a four. That's going to be an aimed fire. And we come down to our favorite NCO. And he's in a trench. So he rolls. That's a three. He's going to have an aimed fire. They got pretty good, uh, at least I got one guy can take a shot at him before he fires at me, but it's not going to be pretty. Baker, Baker goes last. <sighs> uh, 
All right, this guy's in the building over here. Seven, he's going to get an order. Hide. This guy's in the building. He's going to roll a four. He gets an aimed fire. This guy's in the open. Running gun five, six, or a charge. He doesn't see anybody. So that's going to be a running gun five, six. And this guy, yeah. yeah, both of them are unspotted, is in the open also. He is going to, actually 5-6 is going to run him. He's going to end up dropping. He'll go to there and drop. This guy is going to sprint, but can't sprint 5. And he's going to, he can't do it. He's going to evade five which means he's going to drop so both of them's going to wind up in the same hex or no advancement and that is going to be that so let's go ahead and get our guys assigned here that's my tank and Four is able for the tank, so he's got the best. So it's going to be the tank first. Our best after that's 34, so it's going to be tank, Charlie, blue, and maroon. Oops. Followed by Abel, Lavender, no, Abel, Gold, Lavender, Baker. And the one I needed to fire the most first is going to be last. And that's about the way it normally works. So we're going to be hoping for good rolls here. Or I'm losing my long-term. Um, possibly could lose my long-term VAR man. All right. Uh, let's see here. Got my windows all backwards. Let me get that squared away so I'm comfortable. You get set up when a screen's set up and you start looking for something that's not where it's supposed to be. It really screws you up. All right, tanks first. And we've got him on a road move, so he's going to use his free move and then one. Can't see anybody. Go to Charlie. Charlie. Both of these guys can move because nobody can see them, so three four we can't move into there because there is a wire there besides the trench so we're going to have to go around it both these guys can move fast two three four one two three four five when i'm going to go ahead and utilize that fast right now i want them to wind up here in that building and then we'll spot this guy and go from there I aimed fire. These guys can't do anything yet. Grenade. Place target. It's going down on him. Place a grenade. Place target. Place grenade. Oops. I'm just going to duplicate that. All right. Oh, boy, I'm getting ahead of myself. I did able at the same time. Um, it's not going to matter. Hey, nobody can see them except him, and he's hiding. So, um, Charlie.
This is an interesting one. I just saw a post, probably probably dated now, about um, cover. I wouldn't consider that cover because the tree doesn't cover the um, center dot. And that's going to affect me because I would really like to get somebody there to view this guy. And I'm not going to be able to without taking chances. But if I put him in here, that does block the LOS. So... That's the way I always play. I'm not going to change the rules for me. This one right here, that tree touches that circle, so I give them cover on that one. I go by artwork on the LOS. Just makes it a simple rule to remember. Um, both these guys are going to move at the same time because it's not going to matter. They're going to there. Boy, this is going to be a tough assault. <sighs> tough assault. I'm going to move them in with the tank right now and try and get them up here. And we're going to, oops, it's not, not able to turn yet. Uh, lavender, not lavender, teal. I ain't fire, can't do anything, I ain't fire, can't do anything. I'm going to move these guys. Any movement down here, I'm going to move right now. So I don't forget. Six, one, six, one. All the rest are firing. One, two, three, four. Direction five. They're done. Now I can forget about them. Um, aim fires, we're on teal, aim fired error, aim fired error, can't see anything. Maroon, aim fire, can't see anything, aim fire, can't see anything. Evading five, he can't because it's down, so it's going to be ducking back. Able, I already moved most of them, if not all of them. Oh, it's Charlie. Well, there's nothing he can do anyway. He's aimed fire. Yeah, I moved all them. Um, gold. Aim fire, suppress fire. Gone nowhere. Hiding. Gone nowhere. Running gun 5-6. Can't do it because that's a, a half space. So he's going to hold. Uh, lavender. Sneaking 5. Can't do anything this turn. Baker, we got a name. Fire can't do anything, and everybody else has already moved. So these guys are aiming fire, and they can't do anything because they don't see anybody. And it's impulse one. Go to impulse number two. Start with the tank. He's gonna bust up to here. I'm gonna go to Charlie. I can move both of these guys together. We're going to go to there. This guy's going to aim fire. He has a four at a range of two. Goes up to a five. And then we've got aim fire in a trench. Minus two. I probably should have done suppress a fire or fast suppress fire, but we need a two to hit him. And we get a seven. That's a no-go, and that could hurt. This guy's grenade. We don't need to move. I could move him here, but I don't want to because that subjects him to pretty nasty fire. I am not liking the way this is turning out right here. Uh, part of the game. Um, Charlie. They're going to move there. They're going to move there. 
he can spot, but there's nobody to spot because of the weather and the darkness. Uh, we got uh, teal aimed fires all the way around. Nobody's doing anything. Nobody can see anything except this guy. He has named fire, and we're going to find out right now. He has a five. Plus one is a six. He's getting three shots. This is going to be nasty. Aimed fire in trees. Goes down to a four. Six misses. Four hits. Seven misses. And he's odds he goes after Howard. Evens he goes after the bottom guy. Evens he's going after the bottom guy. Good. At least he's going after Reed who is tough. So we've got one possible hit. We're drawing two cards. A light wound or a light wound. So he's going to go down with a light wound. I can deal with that. That could have been a lot worse. Light wound. Problem is, is now we've just lost one of our fires. Place with the duck back. He is a four, three, four. He is within leadership value of him, so that's going to be a five, two. So he only loses one. That goes back down to normal then. All right, so he's fired. We got through that. I'm not going to say unscathed, but we got through it. Uh, Maroon. Aim fire can't see anybody. Aim fire can't see anybody. Duck back goes to a hide. Able. Moved already. Grenade. Impulse 2. He doesn't need to move, so there's nothing going on there. These guys already moved. He's going to follow along. These guys already moved. And we go to gold. Aim fire, suppressive fire. Hiding, hiding. Running gun six this time goes down to there. Go to Lavender. Lavender sneaking five. He's going to go down in the air. And I think. Trying to read up on that wire again. Barbed wires, rough terrain. Pretty sure that they have to stop when they get in barbed water. Yeah, because you got to try to leave it. So he's in there anyway. Um, we'll have to see if we can get a TQ to get out of there. All right, that's it for Lavender. We go to Baker. Well, this is this is key right now. He needs to fire and fire well. Six goes up to a seven for the range. Trench aimed fire goes down to a five, and he gets two shots. Happy face on the first one. Five on the second one. That's going to be two hits. Bad wound and a bad wound. I think we just killed an NCO. All them grenades for nothing. And then he goes, that is KIA. He's go back over. Well, that didn't turn out to be too hot, too, too bad. We ended up losing a, a light wound on it, but I, that could have been a lot worse. 
And that drops him down two more. A lot worse. Now we can move forward without slowing down too much. Mm. Everybody else has moved. This guy's aimed fire, but he can't do anything. Because he can't see anybody. That gets just the impulse number three, the tank. Tank's going to move up to here. Charlie. These guys are going to move in the... Oops. Undo. They're going to move right to there. These guys are... I mean, he goes to duck back. I mean, to hide. And... This is the throw grenade time, so he's going to throw his grenade. And I think we got to roll a six to see if it hits the hex and scatters. And we do have to check that because it could still affect our guys. Pretty sure of it. Impulse three. Yes, add three, so... Um, so we're looking... We're not looking. We're looking for anything under a six. We get a three, so that's where it's going to hit. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and place the smoke marker. I'm going to end up forgetting that smoke marker. I know it. And I'm going to go ahead and do his at the same time. Two, that also hits. And then nobody's around there to check any um, any uh, morale or anything. All right, so Charlie, down here, I'm going to have them both moved right there. And both of those guys are going to duck back. And this guy, I'm going to have him move right there. And then he, oh, it's not his turn yet. These guys, he's aimed fire, but can't do anything because he can't see. But we got teal. Aim fire, aim fire, aim fire, aim fire, dead, aim fire. All right, maroon. Aim fire, can't see anything. Aim fire, can't see anything. He's hiding. Able, I'll move up the uh, medic. Already did their grenades. They already moved. Gold. Aim fire, suppress fire, hide, hide. Run and gun. He can't run and gun. Can't do anything, so he's going to duck back. Lavender. Sneaking five, can't do anything. Baker. Already done. Yep, already done. So we can go ahead and move to impulse number four. Impulse number four, the tank. Now I got a tough decision. Do I want to put him in harm's way? Well, we got to have to. I'm going to move him there. Do I want to turn him or not? Yeah, let's turn him. All right, um, and... We got two chances to spot him because I have two guys. Actually, let's get out his uh, sheet here. Um, the spotting. I got two guys on open hatches that should be able to see. 
So he is a six at a range of two. That's going to be a seven. Ain't fire in a building. Seven goes down to four. Happy face. We see him. Oh, dummy. That takes away all the issues. But it also makes it just a little bit harder because we're not able to get uh, points for dummies. All right. Um, Charlie. Well, we're going to have to split these guys up because this is going to make a difference with him having a named fire. Maybe not. He's going to move into here and attempt to spot him. That's a three, four, aimed fire in a trench. Minus two goes down to a two. Nine. Do not see him. He can't fire at me yet anyway. So, Not spotted. These guys aren't moving. We're on Charlie. Aimed fire. He's hiding already. I'm going to go ahead and move both of these guys. Actually, we don't have to worry anymore, so they can go right to there. We, we, that's wide open. Now I can actually try to put a guy. Well, actually, we're not going to try to put a guy. we got to get rid of this so we can roll his flank. Um, he's going to hide. He's going to hide. I'm just going to leave them together. Aim fire. They can't see anybody. Teal. Aim fires, can't do anything, can't see anybody. Aim fire, can't do anything, can't see anybody. Maroon, aim fire, nobody, but he can attempt to spot five, six. And we have an evade in a building. Goes down to a five. <laughs> he rolls a nine, too, so nobody sees anybody yet. Nice. Aim fire. Can't see anybody. These guys are hiding. Can't see anybody. Abel. He's going to move into the here. Eight. Goes up to a nine for the range. Down to six because of the uh, trench. And we do see him. And that's another dummy. Wow. Well, we're getting through the hard part, but the problem with that is, is we're not getting many points. Um, grenade order, nothing. Evade, he already moved. I'm going to move him over to here, try and keep him close to... Actually, no. You know what? I can actually move him up here to try and take care of this guy, who I'm going to have to leave behind. So we're just going to start moving him up there that way. Um, that way I can keep my combat guys moving. Gold. Suppress fire and aim fire. Hiding, hiding. Docking back goes to a hide. Lavender. TQ to try to leave. He rolls a four, so he can sneak out of there. That's my interpretation of it anyway. I mean, I wonder if he had to... Wait till next turn. That's all right. It's not going to make a difference. They know where it is. All right. Um, that's it for them. We go to Baker. And I think Baker's done too. He's aimed fire. Can't see anybody. They've moved. Aimed fire. Can't see anybody. We're done with that turn. All the chits go to the holding box. Impulse goes to one. Turn goes to five. Remove all moves. This smoke can go down to fading. Actually, with all the heavy rain, I ought to just get rid of that. Accelerate it all. Not going to make a difference anyway. And remove all orders. All right, so there we have it. That's the end of that turn. We got rid of the big obstacle as I see it right now. 
that we still have um, we still have some some work cut out for us because we're we've only got two guys killed and we need to start taking buildings and these guys unless they move we're gonna have trouble we can't charge them we can't throw grenades at them because we don't know they're there officially yet and I don't want to get the tank too far ahead of us so I may end up having to take the tank down this way just to push this issue a little bit and I don't like doing that neither but there you have it that was turn number four we'll see you for turn number five thanks everybody for joining me you all have a great day and we will see you next time combat 2 by compass games designed by Ross Mortel